Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, we're down here at the north end of the beach in Tamarindo and you know it's a beautiful sunny day. We're right here on the sand to give you a review about the Tamarindo River Mouth. We're down here on the beach and we have our own surf science and guru Ryan Waldron. He's going to give us a little bit of review about the Tamarindo River Mouth. Thanks Nikki. How you doing Ryan? Doing all right. Sun really just came up but no better place to be I'd say than no. here in Tamarindo. Um, all right so a quick review of the Tamarindo River Mouth and uh, Tamarindo Bay is interesting because it really covers all of the orientations down to the south end of the beach by Capitan Suizo. It's almost a northerly orientation. And then if you go all the way to the, well, the north end of the beach, all the way to Playa Grande uh, is a southerly orientation. Right where we are here at the estuary is directly facing west, a 270 degree, degree orientation towards the horizon. So Tamarindo, uh, right in front of Witches Rock Surf Camp, Tamarindo Beach or the estuary, pretty much the closest wave to the camp itself. Um, it's a really great beginner wave, beginner to low intermediate, I'd say, you know, 300 days out of the year, you can go out there and because we face due west, uh, it doesn't really receive the brunt of any big south swell, which are our, our principal swells for most of the year. Um, so other beaches that could be, you know, head high, a foot overhead, Tamarindo is going to stay fun. It's going to stay waist to stomach high, perfect for beginners. So 300 days out of the year, you're getting a little bit of shadowing as well from the from Isla Isla Capitan, which is right off the coast. Um, so yeah, Tamarindo in general, a fun beginners wave, good for intermediates. Um, so 300 days of the year, yeah, good to get out there, learn the basics, improve on the fundamentals. But I'd say between maybe 20 and 40 days a year, uh, Tamarindo can turn into a real world-class wave uh, with no jokes about it. It's a full-on, really good sandbar, really good river mouth setup, um, but really it comes down to having enough swell to get in and also the angle that's gonna hit Tamarindo with our unique due westerly angle. Um, so basically, between the months of, let's say, March and November, we're really relying on the South Pacific to generate a lot of our swell. Um, so we'll get the waves coming in from the south end of the beach. And in order for Tamarindo to be good, it needs to have a very strong westerly component. So angle, I'm saying at least 210 degrees to about 235 degrees is what's gonna give the Tamarindo River mouth good shape. It's gonna come in pretty much straight from the horizon. Why, why it is one of the most fickle waves I've ever seen in, in Costa Rica, if you know what I mean? There's always a wave at Grande, there's always a wave. And, you know, is that a lot to do? Obviously, we spoke about the direction of the swell that comes in, and it has to be really, has to be directly coming in. Because mm -hmm. like you say, if it's a south swell, it really bypasses us and goes straight towards Grande. Yeah. If it's a north swell, same thing. So if you pan the camera over to the left here, Jonathan, um, you can see the estuary is just like, you know, with the tides coming in and out, there's a lot of sediment, a lot of, obviously, uh, runoff. So with that, kind of direction, I mean, and the estuary moves to the north and to the yeah. south so much that, you know, how much is that uh, gonna affect the, the wave, obviously? Uh, huge, very, like, you know, you can have the right swell direction, you can have the right size, the right period, but um, that's another kind of caveat to throw into the mix is kind of how the sediment from the river mouth is being deposited out in front of, uh, in front of the camp. So, I would say that it's what, like kind of every other year, it'll line up to be a really good sand bank. Like right now, right now it's just kind of, kind of scattered banks. There's not really a defining razor edge triangle that the wave is gonna just peel on and be a perfect wave. It's kind of scattered peaks. You can find some good corners, but you really need to wait. Um, it's kind of every other year it happens when the sand, when the, when the river mouth has one exit and it'll really create a long point of sediment buildup. So the wave will break way out there and it'll grind upon this, it'll be, just be grinding on this, this sandbar that goes from waist high to you know head high water in depth pretty immediately. So the wave just comes in, grinds along the sandbar, you're getting barrels, you know, let's say a hundred meter long perfect, perfect waves all the way from the outside, all the, almost all the way into the shore break. But yeah, that's a really good question uh, is that's, the sediment and how it how it sets itself up and how it affects the banks. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, one of my most favorite waves in in Costa Rica. 
if not the world. When it's on, it's unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. I would, I would agree with you. It's probably within my top two or top three waves. When it's on, uh, it's pretty hard to beat. And like Nikki said, when it's on, it's uh, definitely not a beginner or intermediate wave. You gotta really know what you're doing. Um, the wave will double up, really suck out, and you're, you're almost making a free fall drop yeah, it, it, uh, it breaks, straight into the barrel. It breaks very, very shallow. So you can have like an overhead wave like this, but you can maybe in that much of water, like really it is, yeah. it's very, very, uh, you know, it's a very, uh, a way with a lot of consequence. Absolutely. But yeah, it's, uh, but like when it's on, it's on. So like, yeah, well, thanks for joining us here on the beach and thank you Ryan for that in-depth review of the Tamarinda River mouth. Absolutely. Um, and we'll be doing more of these surf capsules that we're calling them. So uh, yeah, uh, comments, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, uh, on Facebook, follow our page. Uh, give us a comment, give us a shout out. We hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe and be well. Whatever you are.